Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Neelam and I make videos on all about making and selling candles. This is the fourth and last video in the beginner candle making series. I really hope that this series has helped you. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the types of fragrance oils you can use in candle making, the pros and cons of using them, and how to choose fragrance oils because I definitely know when you're just starting out, um, it can be overwhelming with choosing fragrance oils. Before I start today's video, I don't know if you noticed, I'm wearing this fluffy jacket. It's like so nice and comfy and I wanted to be comfortable for today's video. This is new for me. I've never worn a fluffy jacket in any of my videos. As a beginner candle maker, the question you might be asking is what are fragrance oils? Fragrance oils are fragrances used in candle making. These fragrance oils come in two types. You can use candle making fragrance oils or essential oils in your candles. There are pros and cons to each of the fragrances I'm going to be mentioning today. I personally haven't found any pros when it came to using essential oils in my candles, so I'm just gonna be mentioning the cons and the things I personally struggled with when using essential oils. Since pure essential oils is derived from the plant, it's going to be really hard for you to achieve a hot throw in your candle. You're going to have to use a lot of essential oils to create a strong hot throw. Even though the fragrance is derived from the plant, it's not created to be used in candle making. Essential oils are expensive. You're gonna be spending a lot of money to buy these essential oils that you wanna to use to get a hot throw in your candle. I used pure essential oils when I first started candle making and I really wanted to go this route because I thought that it would be nice to use pure essential oils because they're all natural and it's more clean and better than candle making fragrances but this is where I actually went wrong because when I started to use pure essential oils in my candles I couldn't get a hot throw and I always wondered why what am I doing wrong so when I found out that pure essential oils can't really give you a strong hot throw that's when I realized that this is where I'm going wrong and that pure essential oils shouldn't be used in candle making. When you use pure essential oils, you're going to come across a lot of issues. One issue is that using pure essential oils can be a safety hazard because um, the candle can catch a light because the pure essential oils are not meant for you to use in candle making. So it hasn't been manufactured or made synthetically to be used in candle making. To further explain why essential oils will not give you a strong hot throw and if the candle can catch a light, I came across a TikTok of a candle maker. She goes really in detail of why the candle could catch a light. All of these cons is why I decided to stop using essential oils because I just was not having a good time using it and it was just very difficult. This is no hate or shame to essential oils because I do know a lot of candle makers use pure essential oils in their candles. They have cracked the code on how to use essential oils. I just wouldn't recommend you guys to use pure essential oils. Rather stick to candle making fragrance oils because it will just be more easier and more better to work with since it's been created for candle making. If you still want to use essential oils, always do your research and test your candles, you guys. Make sure that it's safe to use. Make sure you're getting a hot throw. No matter what fragrance you use, no matter what supply you use, always test your candles and see if it's going to work the way you want it to work. So the other option for fragrances is fragrance oils made specifically for candle making. These fragrances are made with a combination of pure essential oils and synthetically made fragrances. It will now become much more easier for you to achieve a hot throw in your candles since these fragrances are manufactured to use in candle making. Choosing the type of fragrance oil you want to use is personal preference. I can just only tell you what I have experienced and you guys can make your own decision on what fragrances you want to use in your candles. I was in the testing phase for a really long time because I just was struggling with essential oils, trying to figure out the hot throw, worried about the candle catching a light. So I rather tell you guys what I experienced so that you can make an informed decision when you are just starting out. Choosing fragrance oils is really fun. I don't want you guys to be stressed about it. I do know that you will be overwhelmed because there are so many fragrance oils on the market. To help you with choosing fragrance oils, I suggest you buy sample packs because you're going to be testing those fragrance oils in your candle to see if it burns well, if the hot throw is good. You don't want to choose a fragrance oil you don't like because when you smell the fragrance in the bottle, it won't actually smell the same in the candle. I bought a 100ml bottle of a candle fragrance I really loved. It smelled amazing in the bottle and I said, okay, let's make this in a candle and see how it works. And when I burned the candle, 
that fragrance didn't smell like how it was in the bottle. This is why I would recommend you guys to buy sample sizes of the fragrance oils you want to use. When you buy fragrance oils, I want you guys to choose three or four scents you want to start off with. You do not want to overwhelm yourself as a first time candle maker. You're going to be testing the hot throw in your candle with these sample sizes. Research has shown that if you narrow the choice down within three or four candle scents, it will now be easier for you and your customers to choose which candle fragrance you like and which one your customers would like to buy. When it comes to testing hot throw in your candle, I would recommend that you start with one fragrance oil and do your testing with that. Don't keep changing the fragrance oils because you want to make sure that everything is the same. Because if you keep changing, you're not gonna remember which fragrance oil percentage you used. Make sure everything stays the same. You use one fragrance oil and then you develop a method and a formula around that fragrance oil in order to achieve a hot throw. The second thing is choose the strongest smelling fragrance oil you have. The reason why is because since that fragrance oil smells strong, you can now perfect a formula that works with that strong smelling fragrance oil. See which fragrance oil percentage works. And then once you have a hot throw, you can now duplicate that formula with the other fragrance oils. So now you might be asking, how do I find fragrance low percentage? This is dependent on the wax you are using. You need to go to your candle supplier's website, go to the wax that you're using, and they have to tell you the fragrance low percentage your particular wax can hold. All fragrance low percentages are different across different waxes. In order to achieve a hot throw in your candle, you have to make sure that the fragrance low percentage is the right percentage, the method you used, and using the strongest smelling fragrance oil. When you have achieved a hot throw using those three variables, you can now duplicate that with your other candle fragrances. When it comes to choosing fragrance oils, I'm gonna give you guys my tips and tricks on how I went about choosing fragrance oils. When you go to your candle supplier, you will go to their fragrance oil section. And when you are there, you will see that they have a section for vanilla fragrance oils, um, masculine, beachy fragrance oils. If you like those type of scents, you must go to those specific sections and see which fragrance oil you like best. I like beachy scents, floral scents. So I'm gonna go to that section and see what fragrance oils fall under those specific categories. If you are now saying, okay, three or four scents, but I like all the categories, I don't know which one to choose. Narrow it down. If you're gonna have four candle fragrances, have two from a masculine section, for example, and two from a beachy section, you know, switch it up like that. Choose which ones you like. If you have a very spa-like candle business, choose fragrance oils that represent that feeling. That's one way your business can stand out from all the other candle businesses. Even if you test your candle with the strongest smelling hot throw, if your fragrance low percentage and your formula isn't right, you will not achieve a hot throw even if you use the strongest smelling fragrance oil you have. If you want to know how to calculate the exact amount of wax and fragrance oil to make one candle, I will link that video here. If you want to know how to achieve a hot throw in your candle and me just basically giving you guys some tips and tricks to use in order to achieve a hot throw in your candle, I will link that video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Iridescent Candle Co. and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.